All right, so in order to understand transcription and translation, we gotta talk about uh, books, like big ones, like this book, Tell Me Now. Uh, DNA, what's it for? DNA is to tell everything else how to do it. Yeah, yeah, it's all the, all the instructions for what to do and how to do it and what has to be done to the DNA for it to be able to tell those things. It has to be read. It has to be read, just like, just like a book. Now, inside the book, you got like words, and the words are spelled with letters. And I think of these letters the same way that I think of, of DNA. Just like you'd read the letters, and the letters go together in a certain order that conveys meaning in the sentences and tells a story or what have you. Those same letters, we just call them the nitrogen bases in DNA. Here, I give to you the DNA. Can you see the DNA? We think of DNA, this uh, spiral staircase double helix looking thing. You'll see it's got letters and unlike in the book that had many letters, uh, you know, 20, 20 whatever that we have in the alphabet. I'll fix that in post so it sounds like I know how many letters are in our alphabet. But, and you know, in spaces and numbers, we only have four letters. We got a, a T, C, and G. Those are the only letters we can use. And the order of the letters, that's what actually codes the instruction. Now, like, uh, like we were talking about before, DNA has two strands, but only one of those two strands matters. For the purposes of this class, I'll just have to tell you uh, today, it's this one right here. This side of DNA that I'm trying really hard to circle, that is what we call the coding side. This other side is the complement, and we don't care about it. This is the side that has the letters that we need. Now, just like you can't have this book because it's in my house, if I held it up like this, you could like screenshot it or do lots of things, but you know, Let's say you want to keep it for later and use it offline. You'd have to copy them down. That's called a transcript. So in order to uh, take this information that's in the nucleus out to the ribosomes, we have to do uh, transcription. Transcription, here it is. You got DNA, double-sided. See how we've opened it right here? And then just, you'll notice, just the one side is getting read by my friend and yours, RNA polymerase. So based on the order of nucleotides here, the RNA will be written using the what rules again, Kennedy? The base pairing rules. Using the base pairing rules. And so let's say, uh, let's say this green right here was an A. Who would be going with it in the mRNA? U. Very good. So we had an A here. We'd have a U in the mRNA. And then uh, that's probably another A. Let's say it's a U again. Now this red one, let's say that's a let's say that's a T. Who are we gonna get in the mRNA? A. A, very good. And then uh, let's say that one's a C. We'd get a G. G. So on and so forth. And let's say next we had a A T and a G in the DNA. Who would that give us up here? U, very good. A C. A. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. And so after transcription has happened. Then we've got to do translation. Uh -oh. So after we do transcription, right, we took our letters, we made our, our, our mRNA. But then you take your mRNA strand, see here it is. Yep. And you do you use that, that wheel or the chart, do translation, that'll give you the amino acids. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's all you got to do. And then those amino acids, that is, that's the polypeptide. That's going to be folded up and combined. That's going to be the protein. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Oh, perfect. 